Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about all the details and explaining what happened yesterday in Grand Theft Auto Online when we received this secret update that actually fixed a few things in game, and I'm going to be telling you guys about that and kind of explaining what the fix was and what it's going to mean going forward. Okay, so probably the biggest thing from this update, as you guys know from yesterday, is Rockstar actually made some adjustments to the Banshee 900R. To give you guys a recap, the Banshee 900R, one of the new supercars that's transformed from Benny's original Motorworks, its performance was, let's just say, really bad. It did not stand up to par with the other supercars, and in fact, it was even worse than the regular sports version of the Bravado Banshee. So clearly something was wrong with the performance. The community really lashed out, uh, YouTube, Twitter, social media, everyone was calling for a buff, and it looks like Rockstar did. But there was a lot of confusion with actually what they did. And that's where we actually have some information today. The first of which comes from FunMW2. He put out three tweets and he also put out some information on the GTA forums. We'll look at the tweets first. He stated, Rockstar have fixed the Banshee 900R via background scripts. He goes on to say, it's very interesting as this is the first time that they have fixed the handling of a specific vehicle with background scripts. And he follows up by saying, currently this is a temporary fix, but it means Rockstar have listened to the community and it will be fixed within the next update. And he follows up by stating three things on the GTA Forums website as well. He states they can only update the handling file via new game updates. What they probably have done is via background scripts. He goes on to say there's a feature called background scripts. They use it to hotfix glitches and fix other stuff. It's basically a script like every script in the game, but it's a server side script. The only explanation of what happened is that Rockstar did something to the Banshee 900R via background scripts. And he finally finishes up by saying, in order to fix the drag stat, they need to release a new update. They don't want to do that, so the only way is via background scripts. Background scripts don't offer the ability to modify handling stats. The only way to fix it is by giving it some sort of boost, and that's what they did. Wait for the next update if you want to see changes made to the handling stats. Okay, so I know that was probably a lot of information to take in, but I'm going to do my best to kind of explain it right now. Number one, there was not a new like physical update that you had to download in Grand Theft Auto Online. We are still on patch 1.32 from the update we received last Thursday, which brought the drop zone and the two new vehicles. So there's no new downloadable update that Rockstar's done. What they've done is exactly as FunMW2 has stated, changed various background scripts. The only issue with these background scripts is that they can't actually fix the drag stat. So again, FunMW2 said they had to give it some sort of boost. And according to Bruffy1322, one of the best informants of Grand Theft Auto V racing and car information, whose video I'll actually leave a link in the description as well, he said that Rockstar have actually changed the suspension and handling of the Banshee 900R, which is what's giving it its actual speed boost. Since Rockstar wasn't able to literally increase the speed of the car, they had to do something which would make it go faster. And the only way this vehicle is faster, oddly enough, is in a straight line, in a drag racing fashion. And because Rockstar actually had to adjust the suspension handling, it's not actually the fastest vehicle in a normal racing scenario, which is what I stated in my video the other day. You're gonna have to deal with things like braking, traction, the way the track actually works. And because Rockstar have had to go into like emergency mode in order to fix this, they had to do what they could and they had to affect the suspension, which in a straight line when you're not moving the wheels of the car is great and it will ultimately go faster. But when you do have to deal with the turns and hills and bumps of a track and a regular road, you are going to notice the difference in the 900R in terms of handling and that will affect overall performance. So that brings me to my next question, and that is when will this get updated? Now, a lot of people are saying, okay, so when a new update comes out, like the Valentine's Day DLC, it's gonna be fixed, right? Well, no, not exactly, because the Valentine's Day content was already packaged with the latest update we got, patch 1.32. The Valentine's content is gonna be turned on via tunables, and thus is not a new update meaning that the Valentine's Day DLC will not update the Banshee 900R. The next time the Banshee 900R is going to be getting an official update and proper fix will be the next time Rockstar adds a new DLC to the game, which could be a month, it could be two months, it could be for however long Rockstar decides to want to wait before they add a new update into the game. 
Now, when that does happen, you'll likely see Rockstar address it on their patch notes, as I would imagine lots of people are probably interested in it. They'll probably be very generic by stating that they just fixed the $900 performance. They probably won't go into the specifics of what they've done. And that brings me to my final point for this topic. This is a temporary fix, meaning Rockstar is probably not going to address it. They're probably not going to explain what they did. But what this does explain is that Rockstar did listen to the community. It was a, probably a huge outreach from the racing community, the, you know, the YouTube community, people just leaving comments on their Facebook, Twitter, social club. I'm sure Rockstar saw it, and I mean, they made this change, so we know that this definitely is the case. All right, and believe it or not, that's actually not the only thing that Rockstar changed and fixed with this update. So if you guys recall a few days ago, I talked about how you need to be careful when bringing the Sultan off the street uh, into Benny's Original Motorworks as compared to buying it online because you'll get screwed over when it comes to selling your car. The example I use is the one that I had bought off Benny's sold for around like $700,000. However, the one I took off the street only sold for like $150,000, which was way low. You were not getting like even a tenth of your money back for that car, which is a terrible trade-in value, and that was a huge bug. Well, it actually looks like Rockstar has fixed this. So I literally captured this footage today. I drove around till I found the new Sultan. I went into Benny's Original Motor Works. I updated everything I could. And when I mean updated, I literally chose the most expensive upgrade option for each one, trying to maximize the value of the car. And believe it or not, it actually is fixed. So when I went to sell this car, I think I got like $700,000, $600,000 plus for it, which is definitely what you should expect to get, whether you get it from the website or whether you get it from the street. Again, I don't know why Rockstar initially had that price discrepancy between a vehicle bought on the website and then a vehicle taken off the street. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that a car on the street is technically old because it had another owner, especially if you stole it from someone. But honestly, that shouldn't make sense. And even if it did, the price discrepancy shouldn't be $700,000 as compared to $100,000. So I'm glad that Rockstar has fixed this. And now if you just got done watching my video the other day, you don't need to worry about taking a Sultan from the street. It has been fixed. And here comes the third part, and this is where I'm going to need your help, because Rockstar is probably not going to, like I said, announce the details of what they did in this update. At least they probably won't anytime soon. And I want to hear from you guys in the comments section down below. Have you noticed any other changes from this secret update? We obviously know about the one for the Banshee 900R. I told you guys about today the new change for the Sultan taken off the street and Benny's original motor works. But who knows what else Rockstar has changed? Those might be the only two things, but I'm really curious to hear from you guys in the comments section down below to see if you've noticed anything different and leave it there. And if it is new, I might just feature it in another video. So let me know in the comment section down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grunt Theft Auto 5 videos like this. Without the way guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.